President Trump says a private laboratory has developed tests to see if patients have developed antibodies for the virus as the back and forth over the funding of the World Health Organization continued today. Chief White House correspondent John Roberts has that story tonight. President Trump and his team today standing by his decision to cut funding to the World Health Organization for 60 to 90 days. The White House insisting the WHO dropped the ball on the initial outbreak in China. The minor return on our investment would be for the WHO to be honest about the origins of the virus in Wuhan, about the fact that it was human to human transmission. Uh, they lied about that or weren't transparent about that. The head of the WHO critical of the decision. This is a time for all of us to be united in our common struggle against a common threat, a dangerous enemy. The move also drawing fire from Democrats. In a statement, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi saying this is another case, as I have said, of the president's ineffective response, that a weak person, a poor leader, takes no responsibility. A weak person blames others. This decision is dangerous, illegal, and will be swiftly challenged. Another issue the president is drawing fire on, soon to be distributed paper checks for those $1,200 economic impact payments. When they start going out next week, the checks will have the president's name in the memo section. President Trump wanted taxpayers to know he supported the payments. The idea brought howls of criticism from Democrats. I wish it were the only ego trip. It seems almost every day the president thinks this crisis revolves about him and his desires, his needs, his enemies. But claiming credit for economic incentives is nothing new. In 2009, the Obama administration was criticized for spending $1.3 million on road signs across the country, touting projects from its stimulus package. And in 2001, the Bush administration sent out letters to people about to receive tax rebates, letters that were derided as a campaign commercial. Today, President Trump was gathering wool on ideas to reopen government, speaking with dozens of members of his great American economic revival groups in different sectors of the economy. In the sports category, Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban. I think the biggest mistake we can make is rush to a decision, but I'm going to help them in every way I can. The Centers for Disease Control and FEMA are also drafting proposals for reopening. In a draft version confirmed by Fox News, the agencies recommend coming out of mitigation in a controlled way with robust monitoring systems in place to contain new cases and outbreaks, and adding that leaders at all levels will need to prepare communities for occasionally returning to stricter mitigation members for brief periods as needed to continue containing the disease. The urgent need for a fourth economic rescue package became more urgent today. Sources telling Fox News that the cap on small business paycheck protection loans could be hit as soon as tomorrow. And a plan to re-up that fund is currently stalled in Congress. Brett?